Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. It is a beautiful Thursday morning, and we're going to kick the show off with Jacob live with ASB to talk about school etiquette, as well as Peyton live to talk about happiness grams. What else do we have? That's right. That's right. We also have Layla live with track and field and Ivana on the magical window. Sounds great. So let's get it started. My name's Landon Miller. And I'm Cole Lomar. And CHSTV starts right now. For our first segment on the show, we're going to have a story on Chloe, a freshman on varsity for softball. Let's roll the piece. Hi, I'm Chloe Hernandez. I'm a freshman at Carlsbad High School, and I play on the varsity softball team. Chloe has been playing softball for many years, but her passion for it is still strong. Um, I was probably around four, and then I joined a team when I was six. Chloe's way of staying resilient is to look back at her younger self and see how she's improved. Um, I stay motivated by thinking about when I was younger and how I always dreamed about being a college athlete and just I keep that in mind. But with all the hardships that come with softball, Chloe has a special person who guides her and inspires her. Um, my dad is probably my biggest inspiration. He's always loved softball and baseball and he's the one who really got me into it. Softball has impacted Chloe's life in many different aspects, helping her overcome any challenge. Yeah, I think it's definitely impacted my life like mentally because it's so tough. You have to learn to persevere and how to get along with other people. Chloe's coach has helped her become the softball player she is today and leads her to succeed game after game and victory after victory. Uh, Chloe has an energy that she brings to the game um, and uh, to her teammates uh, that uh, you know isn't really that common in a freshman. 
Um, she is really smart. She has a very high IQ for the, for the game, uh, very intelligent, um, and is just willing to do what's best for her team. Being a freshman on varsity is extremely time-consuming and requires a lot of energy and hard work. But with all of the effort Chloe puts in, it is easy for her to overcome any challenge with a positive mindset. Reporting in Carlsbad, California with photojournalist Issa Bahamande, I'm Julia Kelly. Thank you, Julia and Issa, for that story. On another note, vandalism on campus has been getting worse, leading to more bathroom closures. If vandalism continues, more bathrooms will continue to be shut down, leading to longer bathroom lines, poor, poor hygiene, and quality of life on campus. Please remember to have school pride, display courteous behavior, and respect our home and the custodial staff here at Carlsbad High School. Now we are going to show some footage earlier today from the state of the bathrooms currently. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here inside of the forbidden 5,000 bathrooms. And if you are a guy who's been actually in this bathroom, you know what I'm talking about. When I say the condition of this bathroom is absolutely horrible. Now recently, Carlsbad has decided to lock this bathroom from the students because of the horrible condition that it is in. As you can see right here, there's soap. There's no soap on the wall. The mirror is missing right here. You have the paper towel machines missing. And if we move over here, the bathroom stall is sitting on the floor, unhinged from it. And if we move over here, the toilet itself is actually missing entirely. Now, clearly this is a very, very big issue going on with Carl's, but especially in the past couple of years, people are not taking care of the bathrooms. They're getting vandalized. And it is only a small percentage of the students, but we need to make sure we're taking care of our bathrooms bathrooms and also thinking about the custodians because they're coming in here having to clean up after um, the students the students mess that they make in here so speaking of which I'm going to go further into the studio talk a little bit about this with ASB and go more into detail now for our first live of the show Jacob is live in the studio with ASB what's up Jacob that's right Carlsbad I'm here with two very important ASB members Romy and Harry so Harry how can uh, students help prevent the vandalism that's going on in the bathrooms yeah you know the best way to stop this is to speak up about it if you you see your boys or anyone doing it make sure to say something about it I don't even know how you guys manage to steal a toilet or a mirror but make sure to speak up about it it affects everyone not just you guys absolutely so be sure to be looking out for each other and Romy thinking of the custodians and the janitors how might they be actually being affected how, how are they being affected by the actions of the students yeah, you know, it takes a lot of time and energy to clean up these unnecessary messes, this vandalism that's happening at Carlsbad High School. And, you know, you're all Lancers. You should have that Lancer pride. Carlsbad High School is our home, so please be respectful and take care of our bathrooms. Um, you know, we don't need to cause issues for our janitors who are doing the most they can to make sure that we have a clean learning environment uh, for to have a nice education, you know. Absolutely. So definitely be conscientious for those janitors and custodians. And based on what you saw in the video, if this were to keep up, what might be the consequences for the student body? Yeah, you know, Harry and I were very saddened by what we saw in the video. And along with ASB, we're very uh, saddened and disappointed. So we want to make sure that we, you know, spread the message that this isn't okay. And if it continues to happen, then unfortunately, Carlsbad's going to have to close down the bathrooms. Uh, we're not going to have anywhere to go to the bathroom. Uh, maybe there might be a porta potty. So. That's another option, but I don't think anyone wants the porta potty. So let's please clean our, keep our bathrooms clean. It's for everyone, so please take care of them. Absolutely, I know for sure I will not be wanting a porta potty. So now I will send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Jacob and ASB. Students, are you in need of some assistance in your classes this semester? With staff mentors and peer tutors present every day, CHS Study Hall offers a focused and helpful place for students to get the support they need to succeed. The study hall is in the library's biography room every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. The CHS Counseling Department would like to invite you to their 10th and 11th grade, to 10th and 11th grade students and their families to our 2024 College Information Night next Wednesday, April 17th from 5.30 to 7.10 p.m. During this event, attendees will learn about the college admissions process, financial, and opportun financial aid opportunities, and more from CHS school counselors as well and representatives from UCSD, SDSU, CUSM, USD, and Miracosta. Please see your grade level Google Classroom for additional details and a link to RSVP. For our next break in the announcements, Peyton is live on the couch to talk about how you can send a kindness gram. Take it away. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with ASB members Reese and Tessa to talk a little bit about Stress Awareness Month. So, Reese, what is ASB doing and what do they have planned for this month? Yeah, so we're going to have kindness grams and we're collabing with Lancer Dancers. So you'll be able to write a little note to your friend or staff member and we'll send it out with a piece of candy. Sounds super fun. And Tessa, where can they go to send off these grams? It'll be next week, Tuesday through Friday at lunch outside the ASB room. 
Guys, make sure you head on down to the ASB room. And then, Reese, why is it important to send your friends and fellow Lancers grams? Yeah, a little note goes a long way, and with all the stress and AP tests, this will just make somebody's day. Yeah, it's really important to always stay nice to everyone. And any shout-outs? Mr. Kistler, period two. Yes, yes I, I can, can, period one. And I'm going to send it back to Cole. Thank you, Peyton. Seniors, it is extremely important that all library fines are paid as soon as possible. Emails are sent out every Monday to seniors with fines. Please check your emails and pay all fines by April 30th. Fines must be paid at the library, cash, or check. Cards are not accepted. This year's senior scholarship application is now available via Naviance. Applications are due late April and awards will be announced at the Senior Awards night in May. Now we have Sam live with Varsity Baseball. Sam? Good morning, Carlsbad. I am here live with Varsity Baseball to talk about their season. So, how has your season been going? Yeah, we're on a three-game win streak right now. We hope to keep that up. That's great. And when and where is your next game? Yeah, so today we have a home game at 4 p.m. against Torrey Pines, so make sure to be there. And lastly, how have you guys been preparing for your season? Uh, Bree's been helping us out a lot on recovery, and our practices have been great. That's all I have for today, Carlsbad. Back to Cole. Thank you, Sam. Seniors, community service hours and all off-campus transcripts must be submitted to the register by May 1st. This is a reminder to be good citizens and respectful community members. Please do not park in the pool parking lot, block neighbors' driveways, or mailboxes and pick up trash. Law enforcement will be monitoring the parked cars and issue tickets or tow. For our next break in the announcements, we have Layla, live with Track and Field. Hi Carlsbad, today I'm here with track and field. So to start off, how does track differentiate from field? Yeah, so track is all of our running events ranging from the 100 meter to the 3200 meter and it includes all of the hurdles and our field events are the jumps and the throws and they're very different but they're both, both very fun to watch. Got it, thanks for that clarification. Now I heard you guys have a meet coming up, can you give me some more information? Yeah, so we have our third league meet today, it's home and starts at four. Nice, and how have you been preparing? Uh, we've been training over the last couple of weeks. We've been uh, doing our relay handoffs, we've been doing jumps in the pit, and just everybody's been working really hard. I'm sure those diligent efforts will definitely pay off. Now, how can we support you guys? Yeah, just come out to the meet. It's right, up the, right outside the football field, uh, four o'clock to seven o'clock. There'll be events all throughout that time period, so come at any time. We'll have all the events happening. Make sure to do that, Carlsbad. Now, finally, any shout outs? Uh, yes, I can, period one. Apes, period one. Apes, period two. Period two, AP Psych, Mr. Shinnefield. Thanks for coming on. Now I'll send it back to Landon. Thank you, Layla and Track and Field. Need help writing essays, paragraphs, posters, lab reports, or any other writing assignment? Come visit the CHS Writing Lab on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 7.25 a.m. to 8.25 a.m. in room 3211. All are welcome and no appointment is needed. The math lab is open and ready to assist you. Drop in and sign in any morning during zero period room 7106. You do not need an appointment and anyone can drop in. The Lancer locker is open and it is stocked with snacks, non-perishable food items, personal hygiene, and more. Stop by the main office and visit Ms. Torres for more info if you're in need of any of these items. Ivana is on the giant digital iPad to spice up the show by talking about Coachella week one. Take it away, Ivana. Yes, thank you, Landon, and good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Ivana Saotomo, reporting to you live on the Magic Window, because as most of you know, this week will mark the first week of Coachella 2024. Next weekend, the next week of this event will take place on April 19th through the 21st. Coachella was founded in 1999, making this year the 25th annual of this exciting event, gaining its popularity because not only are people able to see some of their favorite artists perform, but they're also able to show up um, with celebrities as well. So this year's headliners will be Lana Del Rey, Doja Cat, and Tyler the Creator. And some noticeable acts after that will be Little Uzi Vert. Um, I Spice and Jenny Iko. With that being said, Coachella is a very exciting event and I can't wait for it to see the turnout. That's all I have for you today, Carlsbad. I'm going to send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Ivana. And uh, if, you, yeah, if you have Coachella tickets, make sure you have fun. Also, don't be ruining the school bathrooms, Carlsbad. Make sure you're treating the custodians and the entire staff, as well as our school, which is our home as respect, to have a great learning environment. Anything else, Cole? Yeah, just make it a great day. Bye. Bye. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.